Hi everyone, this is lesson 1.2 of our science unit, Earth and stars and space, and we're still focusing on patterns of Earth and sky. So, as we talked last time, we are astronomers, and as astronomers, we're trying to figure out what the missing piece of this artifact looks like. To try to figure this out, we need to be aware of when things appear in the sky. So, if you went outside right now, and right now it is noon, what do you think we could see in the sky? Would we see the stars or the sun? These questions are on Google Forms attached to the assignment after the lesson. What if we waited until dark? What, would, what do you think you would see in the sky then? Would you see the stars or the sun? Again, these questions will be in the Google Forms attached to the assignment after the lesson. Okay. So remember that people who made this artifact a thousand years ago would have um, kind of shown what they actually saw in the sky. So whatever they were seeing in the sky, that's what they based this artifact on. So do you notice anything on the artifact that might also be something you can see in the sky? Anytime these are in red, uh, it will usually be on the Google Forms afterwards for you to answer. So that's something to think about. Look here and see, is there anything on here that kind of represents something that maybe someone a thousand years ago saw in the sky that they were trying to show. So our question we're gonna focus on is why don't we see a lot of stars during the daytime? So if we want to understand what we see in the sky, we should first decide on how we will show Earth's shape. For this, we can use models. So there are two models of Earth, and you guys have probably seen these models. The first, um, well, in what way are these models similar to Earth's shape, and what ways are they different from Earth's shape? So which model of Earth do these images support a globe or map? This is a pretty easy question. You should know that this is a globe. The photographs of Earth from space are evidence or information that supports our idea that Earth is a sphere, like a globe, rather than flat, like a map. map. So yes, this is a globe. It is round, and we know that our Earth is a sphere. What? Well, when might a map be more useful representation of Earth? So when would you want to use a map instead of using a globe to represent Earth? And those were models, so our vocabulary word is, um, is model. Something scientists make to answer questions about the real world. So they model something to show them, you know, what it may look like and to have them understand it better. So we're gonna go into an activity which is called exploring a simulation of the earth and sky. And this will be online on your student app page. And I will take us through how you get on there, okay? So this is attached to the assignment. After you're done listening to this, you're gonna to go to this website. Again, it's attached to this assignment on Classroom. And when it asks you for a login and a username and login, it's gonna be ampsci123. It's pretty easy to remember. But this again is in the assignment attached to this assignment. So when you get there, you're gonna to go to the student app page. You guys probably don't have a bookmark yet, but you will bookmark it after you go there. Then you're gonna scroll all the way down and you're going to find this image and you're gonna click on patterns of earth and sky. And then step three, you're going to click on the orange box with the number one that will look just like this. Not the end, I'll, if you're having trouble, I will go over how you get there. So this is what it'll look like when you get there. So this is the scientific model of the earth and the sky. Although this model is different from the real earth and sky, it's also accurate in many ways. So it's a representation, it's a model of the earth and the sky. So on the left here, you'll see the sky view. This, is, this, this view shows the sky as if you're standing on earth. So if you're standing right here on earth, this is what you would see, okay? The system view, shows Earth as if you were seeing it from above the North Pole, but far enough away so you can also see the sun. So it's representation of that. Constellations, so if you see these boxes here, like in this red circle, the name labels in the boxes don't represent the actual constellations because they're too far away, but the arrows, the white arrows represent the direction in which you need to travel to get to those constellations. So they're not just gonna be sitting there really around the sun. It's just a model to show, hey, if you wanted to get to this constellation, you'd have to travel this way. If you would wanna to get to Orion up here, you'd have to go to the sun and then travel up, okay? 
And then this will be part of your questions in your Google Forms. So while you're doing the SIM, you want to ask yourself, okay, what am I noticing during the SIM? Think about the types of emotions you experience in the SIM, which we'll go over. What do you think it will be helpful for you to use? Or when, I'm sorry, when do you think it will be helpful for you to use the SIM as a model? This again will be on the Google Forms, but why do you think this model is helpful? What would scientists use this model for to understand what? And then our last biggest question is where are the stars in space? Where do you think these stars in space are? All right, that's the end of the lesson. Now you're gonna log on to the simulation and play around with it. And then you're gonna answer the questions on the attached Google form. Now quickly, I'm gonna show you how I log in and some of the tools and features on the simulation so you understand when you go into that. Okay, so I'm on our classroom right now. And if you are a different class, you're watching this, you might not have the same thing as me, but you're gonna click on the link right here that's attached to the Amplify login. It will also be attached to our assignment up here. Okay, I'm just gonna click on this one right now. And you're gonna click on the app page. You're not going to the learning.amplify.com. You're gonna click on the student app page. So I'm gonna click that, it's gonna open up. You are not clicking on login with Google. You're gonna click on login with Amplify. And your username, like we said, is the same thing, ampsci123. All right, I'm gonna click login. Again, you're logging in with Amplify, not Google. I'm gonna save that. And also what I'm gonna do is something that's gonna help me later on. I'm gonna click this little star up here, that way it bookmarks for me next time. Again, you go to Patterns of Earth and Sky, so you have to scroll down a little bit. It's the purple one. And then the number one in orange. We're gonna click on that and it's gonna pop up just like we showed you before. Give it a second. Okay, here it is. So this is what we showed you before. And if you notice, there are some buttons. So up here, you can turn on daytime star positions, turn that off. Constellations, you can turn that on, turn that off by just clicking on it and it'll become blue. Over here, once again, this is a sky view. You, like you are standing on earth looking up at the sky. Over here, you can click the play button and I'll just let it go for a second. So if you notice, this is the time of day it is now, September 27th, and it's going by minutes. And you're gonna watch what's happening here. If you notice the little red person on the earth, the earth is rotating on its axis. And if you notice, once the person here starts facing away from the sun, you'll notice in the sky view that it gets dark, okay? You can also click pause. You can go from minutes to hours to days to months. So if you do minutes, it will go a lot slower. If you do months, it's gonna rotate a lot faster. Um, and down here, you can choose different dates if you want. So those are just some features that you can play around with when you get onto the student app page. And we will also include directions again on the assignment in case you forget how to access this. All right, again, you're going to watch this when you're done. You're gonna go on, play with this, and then there is a Google Forms where you're going to answer the questions. Have fun, this is a, a fun simulation. I, I really like this one. Enjoy.